Good morning, class. This week in reading, we're working on lesson 15, and it's our story, We Were There Too. And today we're working on Reader's Notebook pages 207 and 208. We'll be working on the prefixes in, im, il, and er, and then we'll be working on a little crossword puzzle with the final schwa sounds, meaning we're using all of your basic words from your basic word spelling list. All right, so today it says on our first page, the directions read, the words in the box begin with a prefix that means not or in. Choose a word from the list to fill in the blank and correctly complete each sentence. And our words are inefficient, indirect, informal, imbalance, impersonal, impure, illogical, illegible, irregular and irresponsible. And when it says inefficient, that means something that is not efficient. It can also mean like just like wasteful or not making the best use of something or the best use of your time. So not not being as productive as possible, inefficient. The other one you might be a little confused on is illegible. And illegible means that it's hard to read or difficult to read. Number one says, if Sybil had ridden back and forth, it would have been blank because it would have taken up extra time. Okay, so something that would have been, again, taken up extra time. Okay, so not the most efficient route, not the most productive way. We're going to say that number one is inefficient, the word inefficient. And it's a small spot, so instead of trying to write it, I'm going to just type it and put it on the line. Inefficient. Okay, number two says the border shown on the map was jagged and blank. Okay, I'm going to look up at my words and see what could be jagged, something that's also jagged. Well, jagged oftentimes can mean irregular, okay? The edge of a, pu a puzzle piece that might be jagged or irregular. And so number two is going to be the word irregular. And we're going to put irregular on the line. And one of the things that I did not do here is put a line through inefficient. And now I'm going to put a line through irregular. And if you want um, to do that, it makes it a little easier as you keep track because you're only using each of the words in the box one time. Um, go ahead and work through numbers 3 through 10 on your own. And when you're finished, you can move on to page 208. On page 208, we're using our spelling words to complete the crossword puzzle. And we're only using the basic words, so numbers 1 through 20 in these. Um, number 1 across, and what you do is you look down here, you have number 1 across, and then you find number 1 on your chart. And on the puzzle, number 1, which is kind of hard to see on my video, much easier to see on your paper, is right there. And so it's going across. So number 1 across reads, Remains of a plant or animal from an earlier age, and oftentimes people love to find these, right? Um, we have fossils, and if you look through your spelling list, the word fossil is number 20, and it's F-O-S-S-I-L, fossil. I actually went through and just typed those in because there was no way I was going to be able to write those letters in the little tiny boxes there. So number one across is fossil. So the next thing you're going to do then is work your way. You can work your way through all the words that are across or all the words that are down. But I'm going to go ahead and go to number two down. Um, it is located in the crossword on the second S right here of fossil. And number two going down is right here. And it says a great effort. If you look through your spelling list, you will see a great effort. Well, when we put a lot of effort into something, often it's a struggle. And so number 11 down, or number 2 down, excuse me, is going to be struggle. You can go ahead now and finish out your crossword puzzle through number 12. This challenge down at the bottom, you do not have to complete, so you can put an X through 13 through 15. And once you have completed pages 207 and 208, you can take pictures upload them, attach them to your document, and turn them in on Teams. Thank you.